Hello there and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. So I guess just for good measure. I'm Kat. <laughs> and I'm Sunny and we're going to be watching Ahsoka. Oh, finally, this is season one, episode one. It's just called part one on Disney Plus at the moment, at least. I'm sure there's going to be a title later on. I'm so, I'm so excited to get into this and we've been looking forward to this series for a while of course and we're even like matching a little bit today you got the Ahsoka shirt on and I just went with the with the Mandalorian because we're still in the Mandalorian verse or that timeline at least I don't know if I expect for the Mandalorian and Grogu to actually show up in this series but we are of course expecting to see Ahsoka, Sabine, Hera, Chopper what's left of the Rebels crew uh, and it is essentially I guess you could call it Rebels season five or we are continuing that storyline. That series is it's amazing I've, I can't say enough good things about it. It's been a little while since we've watched Rebels uh, and, and Clone Wars as well but we do know that of course again this is a sort of a continuation of that story with Ahsoka in the center of it all. And uh, some other characters. I don't know if we're going to see Thrawn straight away either. Uh, possibly not. <laughs> Probably not. They, they might save him a little bit, him and Ezra. But I think we are pretty much just ready to jump into it. Unless you have anything you want to say before we do. If you're a recurring, uh, recurring viewer, recurring subscriber, and you think that it's a, oh, that's an uh, unusual uh, lack of makeup, Oh, <laughs> it's because I have to go be a parent. That's also why I probably I'm gonna skip the discussion in the end uh, because I have to go be a parent. It's like these episodes they come out in a weird time for us. So if we have to get to like watch it, we have to place it during the day. So yes, yes, it's it's a uh, semi early in the morning here. They came out like three a.m. for us, which like we couldn't of course watch them then because we were sleeping so that just makes sense uh, but to our american friends I'm, I'm glad that they moved it up for you guys it never really made a lot of sense how they put out the episodes around midnight west coast and 3 a.m east coast so the, yeah makes sense for you guys for us though it's, it's just a little bit ah damn it <laughs> but anywho before we jump into it i do want to ask you guys to please 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 subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like and comment that really helps out with the algorithm also please check out our patreon page where we have full length uncut reactions we also have early reactions for some of the shows that we're doing at the moment including demon slayer i've started battlestar galactica over there those reactions are going to be coming out on youtube in the not too distant future and yeah there's some other stuff as well please check it out there's a link down in the description below and now let's get into this i am so freaking excited ahsoka season one episode one here we go Oh, okay. The evil Galactic Empire has fallen. Do you have to read it out and loud? And a new Repub... I don't have to. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I'll stop then. Oh! Yeah, Morgan Elspeth. Remember her? From the Mandalorian episode. She's the one... She fought with the um, Beskar Spear. In oh, the yeah. Garden. yeah! Yes, right. This is very Star wars -y. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. New Republic. It isn't home one. Uh oh. Security alert. Ask them to identify them. He doesn't seem too worried. No. Oh, he should be though. Ship approaching. I'm pretty sure I know who that's going to be. They're Jedi. Say again. The signal is an old Jedi clearance code. Ooh. I'm calling their bluff. Hmm. Signal them to come aboard. Everybody's gonna die! <laughs> Kevin Kaina doing the music. I'm so glad it's him. He did the music for the animated series. Well, it is uh, Dave Filoni's baby, right? So... <laughs> it is. <sighs> Ray Stevenson, rest in peace. You're no Jedi. Just some overconfident Imperial trash who just pushed their luck too far. I think you're pushing your luck too far. 
Yep. Allow me to show you our identification. Whoa. Whoa, okay, she just went straight in. We are no Jedi. <laughs> Yeah, why is she blonde? <laughs> what? What? Every time you see a blonde in Star Wars, they're a bad guy. Yeah, why? <laughs> oh, look at him. It's like a freaking tank. Yeah. Morgan Elspeth. Balin, you are true to your word. And well paid for it, Lady Morgan. The Jedi who captured me seeks the map. She knows about Thrawn. Who is this Jedi? Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> oh. Good start so far. And unfortunately, you were right. Everyone aboard that ship? Dead. Yuck. Part one, Master and Apprentice. We do have a title. So who's the master with the apprentice? Always true, there are. Sorry, that was not good. <laughs> Usually I'm better at it, but it's early in the morning. Mm. Here's a pair of scissors. What? Here's a p pair of scissors. To? Cut yourself some slack. Oh, <laughs> I walk right into that one. I'm sure a lot of it is taking place in, in the volume. That's how they're filming it, but it, it looks good. Yeah. And so does she. Mm. I love that move. Mm. <laughs> Are those pieces of Eden? <laughs> kind of looks like it. Right? It looks like it's related to the world between worlds or even the mortis gods and those two things are related as well so. oh. i love stuff like this i'm sorry but this is straight out of assassin's creed too. <laughs> <laughs> i'm only saying that because you've been playing it recently but it is <laughs> you're yeah, right it's you're like right. a puzzle and it looks like pieces of eden yeah i get it i get it And that opens a door. Nope. That. Is it like a holocron or something? Um, no. Doesn't look like it, at least. QA. QA? Ah! I found it. David Tennant. Oh. Oh. Usa Ayusa. I like the design of those droids. Yeah. It's a bit like if you uh, take K2 and um, IG-11. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Nice. Initiate self destruct. Oh, not nice. That is very IG 11 like. <laughs> Whoa! That is some self destruct. Hold. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty old ruins and stuff. Hmm. Fulcrum, this is home one. Do you copy? Over. Fulcrum. Come in, home one. This is Fulcrum. Over. Ah, uh, familiar ships. <laughs> Good old home one. <gasps> Hera. General Sandula. Good to see you. And you. Though I wish it were under more pleasant circumstances. 
Where is the little murder droid? These days there are few who can wield the Force. Perhaps one of them was once a Jedi. Possibly. You should recognize them then, Yuang. Or at least recognize their lightsabers. If Thrawn survived, does that mean Ezra? I hope so. Nothing is certain, except our enemies believe that they know where to look. Let's take a look at this map. We cannot show you the map. Why not? The device is locked. It's never oh. a straight line with you, Jedi. <laughs> you know who could help you with this. I do. Well, I'm not sure she'll want to help. For Ezra. Yeah. He's the same. <laughs> Getting freaking emotional just with them mentioning Ezra. <laughs> Lothal! Commander Sabine Wren. I don't think she's coming. <laughs> oh, of course. Where is she? I don't know. She was just here. Where did she go? I don't know where she went. Get out there and say something. What? Cover for me. Clancy Brown. I haven't... Wait, I don't know why I can't remember the... Asadi. Right Asadi. There we go. Oh, and the old... Even Arcanum. Oh, don't even... That episode broke me in half. I know. I was there. <laughs> kind of. Okay. She grew out her hair. Yeah. Alright, look, Commander, I have my orders. I'm gonna need you to pull over. Well, here's a new order. Get locked. <laughs> It's gonna be that easy. No. Ah, no. oh, love cat on her helmet. Well, she always had a tendency to decorate stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially helmets. Mm hmm. And armor. And an entire Tie Fighter at one point. <laughs> Is she gonna stop? <laughs> no. <laughs> Move. Oh. <laughs> Blew that little droid's mind. <laughs> Blew a circuit or two? Ah, yeah. oh, that's where she's going, of course. Ah, oh. Speaking of love cats. Is that an animatronic? It looks great. It looks a bit like, um, what's his face from, um, Jedi Survivor? Jedi? Grease? A little bit, yeah. The face. Mm. Greasy money. Oh, there's her helmet. Mm. Oh. Hey, Sabine. I'm sorry for disappearing on you. I know your fight isn't over. And now I won't be there to help you. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Whoop. Okay, the ruins aren't completely destroyed. Oh, well, they were sort of destroyed already, but, you know, they aren't gone. They aren't polarized. <laughs> yeah. Why did they have to make her blonde? <sighs> <laughs> you always complain there aren't enough blondes in the galaxy Why far, far away. Why do they have to be freaking bad guys all the time? <laughs> The Night Sisters of Dathomir. Oh! You're a witch. She's a... yeah. A survivor. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, they got wiped out. Ahsoka Tano's former apprentice is on the Thal. You're looking for Sabine Wren. Hmm. Intriguing. You missed the ceremony. <laughs> Whoops. Was that yesterday? It slipped my mind. You were missed, Sabine. Everyone was there. Not everyone. Greetings. Mm. Still in one piece? Oh, yes. And still 75% original parts. I love that David Tennant actually won an Emmy voicing that role in The Clone Wars. What? Yeah. I think I know how to find Ezra. I 
guess that's a pretty good way to get her back in. At least start the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Where did you find this? In a world named Arcana. It was a stronghold for the witches of Dathomir. Uh oh. Okay. So, where do you call home these days? Here? This ship serves me fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally called home. No, that's not the one. That oh, that was not one. Oh, sorry. Can I take this? Where are you going? Somewhere I can think more clearly. The construction and overall design are executed exactly the way I taught younglings to build a lightsaber mm. at the temple. So definitely Jedi trained. In the last 500 years, I've only known one student who built a saber such as this. Balan Skull. Bingo. He disappeared at the end of the Clone Wars. Like so many. Another survivor. Sabine, you're going to want to hear. She gone. Mm -hmm. And she took the map. It's not that I don't trust her with the map. It's just we know yeah. someone's coming for her now. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, and we got a little probe. Oh, that's very... Reminiscent of Maul in episode one. Ooh, ball. <laughs> oh no, Kitty! But you and I both know Sabine gives you the best chance of reading that map. Just wish she had changed a little. Have you changed? She's still just as stubborn and bullish as ever. She's Mandalorian. <laughs> But your master found you difficult at times. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Snips. <laughs> Anakin never got to finish my training. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him and the Jedi. That looks different already. Uh, it's in the... Uh, oh, of course, yeah, the room. Yeah. Coffee. Or... I don't know. Jawa juice. Oh. Not like that. Oh. <laughs> Three figures. So it was an old night sister temple. That's really interesting. Mm. Is that simple? So it's a bit like a Rubik's cube or something. And then she has to like turn it around so it matches. Oh. There we go. Whoa. This is it. Gotcha. Simple looks very much like uh, on a dark, you know, yeah, the three yeah, worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, Oh! <laughs> nice one. Ah, oh, damn it. It must be so hurtful to, like... Then yeah, punch a droid. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Dude. Not cool. Problem. Spill it. <laughs> gonna grab her old helmet? No, she's gonna grab Estra's lightsaber. Hmm. We've been looking for this. That's too bad. Hmm. Apprentice versus apprentice? Yeah. <laughs> Well, she is holding her own. Yeah. And I guess, like, the big question still is is Sabine force sensitive? Because never really got that in Rebels, but they sure are insinuating that. <gasps> is she just toying with her? <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Watch. Oh, damn. Bean. Back to tank. Ben, yeah, ben, I was thinking that. Exactly. Oh. oh. For our friend Ray. And that. Damn. Okay. Dave Filoni. Oh, I like the credits. Oh, okay. That was that was a pretty good first episode. Sure. I did not see that coming. That ending. I, I was sure that she was just gonna have to turn tail and run because Ahsoka was coming, but I didn't expect for her to just stab <laughs> Sabine before she did. Damn. But there we go. That was season one, episode one, Master and Apprentice. It's not going to be the longest discussion here because there's another episode that we can get into and you kind of have to leave in very, very soon. Uh, so just quickly, what did you think of the episode? I think it was uh, a nice introduction. Yeah. Uh, especially for those of us who either haven't watched Rebels and Clone Wars mm. or it's been a billion years since we watched it, so <laughs> yeah. can't re really remember anything. You fall in that latter category. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, since I am only just a casual fan, I um, I, ha I also have a, just a, have a tendency to not be it, being able to hold on to details uh, mm. very well. Uh, so, it's, but there's still some kind of questions I have about certain things, but I don't want to ask them because first it's gonna take a while, and second off, I just I'm just gonna sound stupid because I'm not <laughs> in the loop. And um, if I start getting into long explanations, then this is not gonna be a short discussion. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> um. So in that regard, it's it was nice introductory introductory. Yeah, reintroduction episode. as well. well yeah. Guess, yeah. Um. I think. Yeah, the cast look good because we there we've we've seen um, Rosario Dawson as a Ahsoka, Ahsoka before, yeah. so we know that. Um, but new to us is both like we saw Ezra in this one, and we saw uh, yeah, but we kind of mm. saw him and Sabine Wren mm -hmm. and who else? Like, Hera and Hera, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so so we got got those like so how they um how they've been cast and yeah mary elizabeth winstead playing hera of course uh she's married to ewan mcgregor so, <laughs> so staying in that star wars family and i think yeah. yeah she did a pretty good job like it's still sometimes with the um lenses that they're wearing yeah, it's, it's not always the oh. best but i don't know if they should do like cgi instead and that can be costly i i, I guess um so it's just part of it because she does have to have green eyes uh, since it is Hera uh, but I, I thought she did a good job and Rosario Dawson still like pretty good in the role as Ahsoka like she's very subdued as Ahsoka very like she's doesn't show a lot of emotion and I know she has evolved as a character she's not yeah, yeah, the sure. young snips <laughs> as we saw in the clone wars and and even uh the same person as we saw in rebels like a lot has happened uh, but i like the, the mentions of of anakin as well and tying it back to a lot of things and yeah yeah and i think that's also one of the um because she was a firecracker mm. um to begin with to yeah to begin with and i i must say that even though i understand like she's now full of wisdom and all of this like yeah yeah power and all of this so she's let's just say it seems like she's just more mm. subdued but mm. i also kind of miss that spark yeah and also <laughs> like there's a reason why she walked out and it feels and i'm not saying that you you can't both be like uh quiet and stoic and all of this and still be like uh determined and mm. but but i just i still feel like there was like a little bit of aggression or you know like uh some like bitterness or something perhaps no just like mind, no. just uh because she is she was uh, she had so much she was very lively 
Yeah. And I oh, do okay. yeah, like that, miss yeah. a little bit of that. Um, a little bit of that fire. Yeah, exactly. And, it's, and, and I, I understand. Mm. Again, I completely understand that a lot of ha- has happened. I am also not as much of a firecracker as I was <laughs> when I was, I don't know, 16. So I, I, I do understand that this is just like a part of normal evolution mm. uh, that you evolve into this. Mm. But I, again, I still miss that personality almost like she seems like she seems bland personality wise and again i don't a little bit maybe it's just all that time alone and uh, yes. spending time with huang only who is a droid and does act like a droid it's nice to again see see that character and, and hear david tennant's sure. voice again there um and there were some other returning characters like Raida Asadi, uh, played by Clancy Brown. I like the inclusion of him. He's from from Rebels, who most likely don't remember him. Mm-hmm. We did not get to see the little Murderbot uh, <laughs> chopper. So he's gonna, he's gonna I hope, around. yeah, I hope he's going to be in the second episode and and just hear his voice again. Uh, <laughs> and um, seeing Home One again, X Wings, and and you know just a familiar things like it feels very star warsy of yeah, course and right. it is very felony and i love the music kevin kind of doing such a good job i think he's really good at mixing the new with the old like classical like star wars john williams themes and then doing his own thing as well uh like I but missed, still keeping I, it into uh john williams it's not like um with the uh, Jorgensen, where he's like more, I would like to say experimental, but it's a di- like it's there's a different sound. So it, of course he can yeah. do the whole uh, spiel with the orchestra and everything like a uh, uh, classical music, mm. but it is more of a. He's doing his own thing. He's doing his really, own thing, yeah. and I absolutely love him for that. Mm. It's just this one feels more like classical Star Wars, if that makes sense. Even yeah, like, yeah. And also just like the beginning was very Star wars even more than we're used to, I mm. feel like, because we had the whole opening with the spaceship. Uh, like it was just Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Very much I feel so, like it was just like, so. it's just uh, pulling you straight back into this yeah, world. Yeah, h- hitting those marks. And I, I'm, I'm quite curious to hear from people like who really haven't watched Rebels or Clone Wars, how they feel about this first episode. If they can get into it in the same way because even though I think they did a pretty decent job of just sort of catching people up or like introducing these characters as new characters you could say um I I don't I don't know how how it how well how well that came across um, because again like we have watched it and even though you don't remember a lot of it you do of course remember characters like Hera and Sabine and, and so on uh, so yeah and then interesting with Morgan Elspeth being a night sister tying it to to that and also we learned that Balin Skull was a former Jedi part of you know pre-Empire Republic was trained in the temple he was one of the survivors and then something must have happened he found a new apprentice along the way we, they, did, they didn't say her name in this but I know her name is I think it's Shin Hati so it's Skull and Hati, which is like the Oh, wolves. the wolves in and no- North mythology. Exactly. Yeah, okay. And, and Filoni, he just has a thing for wolves. Always has. And yeah, always we, all, we also, also saw it. like uh, the two wolves uh, with the... With yeah, the, the mural. Yeah, that's it, what it's called. Yeah, yeah from, uh, from, from Rebels. And they were very much a, a big part of the latter part or like the latter half or the last season-ish of rebels there were some some wolves there and yeah so so that is a very day feloni thing and i can't wait to learn more about them and what their plans are exactly how they got mixed up into this because at one like when when they rescued or when balen rescued morgan elspeth he said something about being paid very well so they can't just be mercenaries right like they must have some sort of personal goal with this as well i'm thinking um Perhaps and it's just like perhaps I'm, I'm is probably not right, but it could be like some old bitterness uh, towards Jedi's or you know like survivors guilt, but in a way where you turn it your trauma into something that you turned it into hatred, hatred, and hatred the yeah. dark side, and the, even 
and this has been discussed when the trailers came out and so on, but their lightsabers, like the color of it, it it's has more of a... completely red? Not completely it's red. It's more orange it, right? Yeah, it has more of an orange hue to it. I don't know how, like, why that is, if that is in any way connected to... Since they're not, they're not Jedi. He said that straight up. Mm. But I wouldn't say that they're Sith either. So, like, where do they land in, what, in that? Uh, in Visions, there was this, like, uh, it was very... Um... It felt very westerny, and um, there was like a character that also had like a red, orangey, red kind of lightsaber, right? Perhaps. Um, but it it felt like a Jedi, but he said, like he explicitly said, "I'm not a Jedi." Is it just the, the first, like the Ronan episode? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the first, the black yeah. and white. Yeah, that's probably. Okay, one. yeah, I think that was just straight up red. Oh, okay, actually. Okay. Um, I just rem- remember it as more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we know there are more lightsaber colors than just the usual blue, green, and red. Uh, well, it's light, right? So it's like all the colors of the light. Yeah. So. We even have the the dark saber. I don't know how that works, um, but, but yep, yeah, well, that's it's just up. absorbing all the, um, absorbing all light, I guess. And then it's just. I like guess. Black. I guess. Speaking of the lightsaber, uh, the, the lightsaber, the dark saber. Last time we saw Sabine handling a lightsaber it was the dark saber and she was being taught how to use it by kanan so she got some training there and then she got more training from ahsoka and is presumably now or was ahsoka's padawan or apprentice so i'm gonna bring it up again force sensitivity back when she was being trained by kane and he did talk to hera about like the force residing in all of us like it could be dormant and we all have the capability to to tap into it somehow some for some it's just easier uh it comes easier so i don't know if like they're gonna tie it back to that as an explanation as to, like she's just very she's a late bloomer like luke and Ray and <laughs> I, yeah, I I don't know yeah. how they're 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 gonna do that, or maybe she's not gonna be able to use the force, and she's just gonna be able to handle a lightsaber really well, and she's gonna incorporate that into her Mandalorian training, because um, I am definitely expecting for her to don that armor again at some point. Um, but first, she's gonna need it back to tank. Yes, as you said, very much. <laughs> she's very much gonna need it back to tank. Um, but it seems like no. uh, Shinhati was mm? uh, well. She got away with the with the map, so yeah. uh, and that was after uh, uh, Sabine cracked it. Cracked it. Yeah. So I fear that whoever's gonna get first to the throne in Ezra is gonna be our enemies. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and then we have our our arc for the season. It is about finding Thrawn and Ezra very I much. Would say and so, yeah. As we also said up top, like not expecting to see Thrawn right away. We're probably going to have to wait until we get a little bit further into the season. But it's going to be so cool. But it's going to be, like, we, we can't wait. And of course, like, Lars Mikkelsen, the Danish pride. Of course, it's pride. like, yeah, yeah. national pride, <laughs> yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah. um, and just one last thing before we get into Danish word of the day. I don't know if you have any more. I just wanted to say that this is absolutely stunning. Like to the, look at, yeah, yeah. Production value is just very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the look of it and the music again, Mwah. great, great, great. But Ray Stevenson, I already love him in this role. I am so sad that he's no longer with us. Um, he another series that comes to mind is Black Sails. Black Sails. Yeah, where he played Blackbeard and did such a good job there as well. I, he was in Rome also, and yeah, he's been in a lot of things and he's just always perfect um so looking forward to seeing the rest of the season with him in that role but just it's knowing good. that yeah when that's that's it and he's not even gonna like he didn't live to see how people are gonna receive him in that role either that yeah that just makes makes me so sad uh, so again rest in peace ray stevenson and i love that they they did that in the end as well for our friend ray that was that was beautiful. But we do this uh, thing, like if you aren't familiar with it, we do this thing at, at the end of our discussions here on the channel where we get into something called a Danish word of the day. Is just a, a kind of new thing? Kind of a new thing, yeah. Um, where we take a word or maybe even a couple of words and we just translate them to Danish. Just to, but Why not? Um, because we are Danes, so. And I thought maybe just translate the, the title 
So you do get two words for this one. Just go with master and apprentice. Yeah, so I would say... The first one is pretty straightforward. Yeah, mister. Mister, yes. Yeah. So it's so. just subbing the A with with an E. Yeah, um, with a more like an E sound. Though. Yeah, Mis exactly. Mister. Master. Mister. It's not like, it sounds wrong to say it like that because whenever we talk about Star Wars, we don't use Danish terms. No. But the next one, apprentice, that's a little bit different. <laughs> so. Lerling. Lerling. And there we have a, uh, a letter that maybe some of you have never seen before. It's called an A. It's a, it looks like an A and an E just put together. And it has that A sound. So Lerling. And, and the G in the end is also kind of... Yeah, it's not pronounced, so it's like a more soft G, so... Yeah, exactly. It has an ing sound instead of like in. If you had, if you didn't have the G, it would be in. Lerling. Yeah. If you have the G, it's ling. Yeah. yeah so, ling. yeah. There we go. Master and Apprentice, Mester, or Lerling. Yeah, so, I just okay, want to quickly say about Mester, because it's also like if you... Uh, have the, like the word mister that's also kind of like um right is it wouldn't that be hell uh, oh no that's sir I, I don't know either way now it's getting a little bit confusing yeah so we'll very... just stick to master and apprentice and in danish that is <laughs> mister or lerling and i guess in that way you also get the translation of and which is o o g o yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Danish words of the day, and with that, my mind just went blank for a second there. I don't know what happened. That's gonna do it for this reaction and review of Ahsoka season one, episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and may the force be with you.